Hey everybody, Jeff Bromley from Thingy here. Welcome back to Tech Talk where we talk about all things digital. In this section, we're gonna talk about Amazon Alexa. So we talked in the last video about how the user interaction model is changing. Now let's talk a little bit about the technology that's gonna help change that. So we have Amazon Alexa, we have Siri, we have Microsoft Cortana, um, as well as Google Home. So we have a few different players that are coming into, the, into this arena about user interaction models. In one of our future videos, we're gonna talk a little bit about the format war, but today, let's talk about specifically the life sciences arena and the life sciences industry and talk about some specific use cases that you guys can you know, possibly use in your business. So here, I wanna just seed you with a few ideas, something short and sweet so you guys can get an idea and a flavor for how this technology might be used. So first, let's talk about people that are visually impaired. Those people may or may not be able to read a book, may have some challenges, whether it be glaucoma, macular degeneration, or a number of other eye diseases that prohibit them from being able to read. So now we have Amazon Alexa to be able to read that information, read a book back to them. You know, Audible's wonderful, so now we can tap into Alexa and Audible and actually be able to have them listen to a book where otherwise it may have been challenging for them. Asthma, what's the air quality like out today? You know, do I need to bring my inhaler with me? How is the mold count? How is the pollen count? Am I gonna be affected today? And we can ask, we can ask uh, Amazon Alexa or Siri or any one of these platforms what it's like outside, allowing me to react to the day. Um, we can also talk about you know, cancer and reminders for people being able to take their medications. So actually having these devices pop up in their home and saying, it's time to take your medication. Diabetes you know, uh, and potentially you know, glucose levels of a specific food. So we can actually go and ask that of Siri or Alexa. And then let's talk about a large patient population. We have women that are either trying to get pregnant, they are pregnant, or they've had a baby. So now we have three specific patient populations that can use this. So if I'm trying to get pregnant, when is the right time for me to attempt to conceive? What is, you know, if I'm on uh, therapy in order to help me conceive, what are potentially some of the side effects? What are the, some of the things that I need to look for while I'm doing this therapy? While they're pregnant, what's Braxton Hicks? You know, you know what, what, what am I to expect in each one of my trimesters in each month? How is my baby progressing? What's the size of them? I have all this information that I can go and I can gather. And then we have the parents at three in the morning that are trying to soothe their baby. So now we can ask Amazon Alexa to say, Alexa, play me some lullaby music. Or Alexa, my child has a fever. What should I do? So these are some just basic ideas that we can take and use in order for people to change their interaction model and change the way that they're doing things because this is going to happen. The shift is on as we talked about previously. Did we pique your interest? Is this something you're thinking about for your business? Do you have some great ideas that you want to take and bring them through and get them across the finish line? Let's brainstorm. Let's get together. Let's talk about this and figure out ways that we can use this technology to leverage in your business. Did you like this video? If you did, you can do three things right now to help continue our technology journey together. One, first subscribe to our YouTube channel. Two, like us on Facebook, LinkedIn, follow us on Twitter, or go to thingy.com for more information. Look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, thanks.